Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today I am going to attempt a diagnosis in real time, uh, hopefully without interruption, of a 2008 Honda Odyssey 3.5 liter. Uh, customer's concern is a no compressor operation. So just uh, it should be pretty simple. We're going to make sure everything's good on the electrical side. I did do one thing. I got a head start on just setting up my homepage for the all data for my service information. Um, knowing this system, it sure helps to uh, be familiar with it. Uh, it is a relayed um, compressor circuit. There is a relay in the middle. And my AC light is on steady. And nothing happens when I uh, turn off the AC on this thing. Let me take off the max no rpm change so let's go under the hood and confirm <clears throat> what the customer already spoke about and hope you guys don't mind there's our compressor hope you guys can see it it is not operating so <clears throat> Like I said, the first thing I always check on a relayed uh, compressor circuit is the relay itself um, and all the wiring to it. So what I'm going to do is type in compressor relay and hopefully it'll take us right to what we need to see. And... AC compressor clutch relay is right in the center um, you know you tend to memorize it but you know just in case you want to look up service information so there we are there is our <coughs> relay so I'm go ahead and grab a light for y'all set you guys up real quick I'm gonna just grab a power probe yes a power probe and using it wisely is going to be a problem let's go ahead and connect our main leads here now why do i check the relay first well <clears throat> why don't i connect the machine first right if i don't have a command if the computer doesn't send out a command it is most likely that's that would be my next step is to check the pressures but if it does send command i don't have to check my pressures the pressures are there pressure sensor is doing its job and all i gotta do <coughs> at that point is con continue on my way i don't really have to check with the <coughs> the machine pulling out the that relay I want to check to see something real quick just to see if it clicks it does click so I'm expecting to see let me just grab my lead here I guess I'm not as efficient as I thought I was. <laughs> I'm going to set you all up over here. So I'm expecting to see my commands there. If the relay is clicking, that wouldn't happen unless I had everything I needed. So let me put you all closer. Looking at our relay those copper looking ones are our load side and those gold looking ones are our control side so this is how it's laid out right there so we're gonna go in here and we've got our positive on the command side and we've got it's not ghost voltage it is grounded it won't it won't show the full ground so at this point I'm sorry, I'm checking the wrong side. That was the load side. That means that I have continuity to ground. 
what I was checking there was the load side, but before I go too far, I want to check my command side. I've got power on my command side and ground on my command side as well. So I have the request. Now I can safely check my load side. I've got that fused power and I've got continuity to ground. So am I worried about an open circuit? Not really. So I'm going to go ahead and power it up and my compressor kicked on. So what does that tell us? That tells us that although this relay is clicking, it's no good. So how do I just confirm the fix? Let me make sure I'm pulling out a non-essential. You know what? I think I have some extra relays around from some tip that I've changed. But nothing that I can use on this car, so... You know what, I think for now I'm just going to pull out the radiator relay fan. Relay, um, the radiator fan relay. And put it in here. And check for cooling. So yeah. <clears throat> and it is nice and cold. It's getting there. I'm not so cold, but uh, I think that about sums it up. Just to go through the whole thing again, I always go for the relay first on a relayed circuit, compressor circuit. Um, if you don't have the command, then you can bring out the machine, or you can even check scan data <clears throat> and check pressures there, but I don't think it'll give you, on this vehicle, I don't think it gives you a specific readout of the pressures. It either says uh, good or no good. Um, if we have a command, then we check for continuity to the compressor on the load side. If that ground that we saw there uh, was not present, then I would be worried about no continuity to ground on the sh on the com the clutch <coughs> uh, through the coil, the clutch coil to ground. And obviously, if we have everything we need and nothing is happening and the relay is clicking, it doesn't necessarily mean that the relay is good in our like in our case now. So. I hope you all enjoyed this one. It's not my usual video, but I do what I can. And now you see what I usually have to do to set up the cameras. It really doesn't take that much time, but <clears throat> there is a little bit to it, you know. Just take out my tools and this and that. But hope you enjoyed this one. It's live diagnosis. Not live. Real time. But uh, if you like, hit like. If you feel like sharing it, share it. If you feel like commenting, leave a comment. Sorry for the voice. I'm a, I'm a bit under the weather. And uh, till next time.